So today, my dad will be helping me make a mannequin. And this sheath is really falling apart, but he's going to be wrapping me in duct tape, and then we're going to cut me and the shirt all apart, and we're going to use spray foam on the inside, and we're going to make a mannequin, hopefully. So, knife is here if you want to use it to cut the duct tape. Okay, so, um, probably what we're going to want to do is... I really don't know. Um, do you want to start around the torso yep, and the arm? Do like start with the armpits or something? Because that's going to be a pain to do. How tight do you want this? Very tight. Well, it looks like the Tin Man lost a bit more than his heart here. So I have the body here, I have both of these sleeves, and the goal is I'll have a piece of PVC pipe linking each of these arms into the torso, but we'll be able to fill them independently so that we won't have as many problems as we used to have putting them together. That's the plan, and we will see if that works. Also, I'm planning on mounting a styrofoam mannequin head inside of this thing, and the whole thing will mount onto the top of a tripod, in theory. So Dad is currently tying the mannequin upside down underneath this ladder over a tarp, and we'll be spraying the inside of it with this expanding foam. This is the expanding foam we'll be using. I hope I have enough, I'm not sure, because last time I used too much, and I used three of these bottles. I have two with me now, but I don't know if they'll be enough. We'll find out. So I realized I couldn't make the head fit, but what I'll be doing is, you've already seen this in the armor testing, but you saw I just kind of threw up in the air and hit it like a baseball. Instead, I'll be making these arms I cut off as individual targets to strap armor to for armor testing. So I'm shaking this up, and I'm going to fill this arm, and it'll be, then it'll become one of my targets. This stuff is very sticky, don't get any of it on you, wear gloves, don't breathe it, and work, work on top of the tarp. Burn hole. Can't do anything. Uh, 
Yeah, it looks like whipped cream, but don't eat it. It's very bad. <coughs> I just whipped a whole bunch of the inside of it. Shaking some more. I'm gonna fill just a bit more in, and I'm gonna leave it be for like at least 15 minutes, see if I think it needs more. So it's the next day, and let's check out our arm here. As I feared, I didn't fill up that elbow quite enough, but the upper arm is really sturdy, the lower arm is quite sturdy, so yeah, I think we're good to go on the other arm and then the rest of the mannequin. Okay, so I have this shirt, I'm going to fill here. I have another arm I'm going to fill, and I got this one or two left. So, I got it. So, yeah, I'm going to fill this one now. So I'm going to try to be layering it from bottom to the top, outside to in. And as it expands, I'm going to put a PVC pipe on the inside of it so that I'll have support to go onto my tripod later on. That's the plan. Don't breathe this stuff either. Just, just stay as far away from all of it as possible at all times. So everything's going wrong so far. The shoulder cap is completely caved in. I can't fix that. And I got some of this on my hand. And I'll just do that. Wear gloves and protective eyewear. If it touches your skin, soak in soap and water. Do not inhale, do not ingest, don't get into your eye. Flammable. Yeah. Avoid inhalation and skin contact. Goody. I'll just pour some more in here, why not? Like I can make it worse. That, ladies and gentlemen, means we are done with this stuff. So I'll come check on it in a couple hours and we'll see how it turned out. I don't know why I'm still in New York, but you know, hey, it's what happens. So the dummy is mostly done. He's actually less of a mannequin and more of an archery target now. Um, however, not all of the foam has expanded because not all of it had contact with air. So I'm gonna poke some holes in it. Yeah. Don't breathe this stuff in. Get this off the side somewhere. 
Now all that foam has to go somewhere. And hopefully there's enough of it. I doubt it. Hopefully there's enough of it to go in here and uh, give this buddy a little head. So it's been about a month now actually since I last filmed for the mannequin video and uh, something's changed. But here's the mannequin as it currently stands. Currently stands very hunched back, but that's what happens when you don't easily put the foam in as it begins to expand and pushes your pipe away. Oops, my bad. Now I do have a few problems uh, just with the duct tape coming off. I'll wrap it up with some more duct tape. We should be completely good to go. There's the other one over there. And there it is, the completed armor testing mannequin.